this is not your normal Firefox and I'm going to show you exactly how I made it look and work like this. See, most people download Firefox but never unlock its real power. So yes, this is my Firefox setup. Users saw what it looks like, clean, minimal and focused on productivity. In this video, I'll show you exactly how I configured it step by step from cleaning up the interface to using vertical tabs, containers, themes and even AI based tab grouping. No unnecessary fluff, just practical tweaks you can apply to your own Firefox immediately. Let's start with cleaning up the interface. I always begin by cleaning up the user interface. Because if the base is cluttered, no extension or theme can truly fix it. The first thing I do is disable site suggestions and top sites from the new tab page. I prefer a distraction free new tab that doesn't keep throwing random content at me. Later in this video, I'll replace this boring new tab with something much cleaner using tabless extension. Next, I hide the bookmark bar. I don't like it constantly taking up space at the top. This gives me more screen space for actual content, which is especially useful on smaller screen like laptops. Don't worry, hiding doesn't mean losing access. But see, you can press Ctrl plus B to instantly open the bookmarks bar. Or you can click on the menu button and access bookmarks or the bookmark manager from there. Here is a small productivity tip I use daily. You can use Ctrl plus L to access the address bar. That is helpful, but that's not the actual tip. The actual trick is to use at the rate bookmarks in the address bar. So when you type at the rate bookmarks followed by a keyword in the address bar, Firefox will only show results from your saved bookmarks. So instead of searching the entire web, you are searching inside your own personal bookmark library. Now that's great, right? Vertical tabs are trending right now and honestly for good reasons. Enabling them in Firefox is extremely simple. Just right click on the sidebar button in the toolbar and select turn on vertical tab bar. Just that. Now your tabs will move from the top to the left side. And this is not just about looks. On wide and ultra wide monitors, vertical space is much more valuable. So instead of wasting screen height, you are using the side, a space that normally stays unused. For people like me who work with a lot of open tabs, this layout feels much more natural and organized. Now, if you are on a smaller screen like a laptop, a permanently visible sidebar can feel a bit too heavy. So what I do is enable the expand sidebar on hover option. With this enabled, the sidebar disappears when not in use and only shows up when I move my mouse towards the left edge. This gives you the benefit of vertical tabs without constantly losing screen space. It's clean, minimal and more organized, more practical. Even though I prefer minimalism, I still want quick access to things I use every day. So I customize the toolbar. Just right click on the toolbar and select customize toolbar. From here, you can drag and drop useful items next to the address bar. I keep my essential extensions here, especially Bitwarden, my password manager. This way, whenever I need to log into a website or copy a password, it's always just one click away. You can add your favorite extensions, download button, developer tools, 
or anything you regularly use. The idea is simple. Keep what you need, remove what you don't. Now let's add some visual beauty. With the adaptive tab color extension, Firefox changes its interface color to match the website you are viewing. So if you open ArchWiki, you will see a blue tone. If you visit Linux Mint website, you will notice mint shades. And if you open itsfoss.com, well, you will see for yourself. To get this, go to manage extensions and search for adaptive tab color. It is not an official Mozilla extension, but it's extremely popular and also carries the recommended badge from Mozilla. Which means you can install it without having second thoughts about its security and stuff. After that, you can go into the settings and tweak how strong the color changes should be, how it behaves in dark or light mode, and how it blends with the bookmarks and the rest of the interface. These things are optional, of course. Now, adoptive colors look cool, but they can also feel a bit distracting for some people. If you want something more consistent, the Firefox color extension is a great alternative. It allows you to use pre-made color themes that give Firefox a stylish look without constantly changing colors for each website. You can also create your own custom theme. You can choose colors for new tab, highlighted tabs, toolbar, pop-up, selected text, and other UI elements. You can even upload your own background image to make Firefox look truly unique. Once you are done, you can export your theme and reuse it on other Firefox installations. I'm not very good at design, so I mostly stick to the predefined color themes. Now let's come back to the new tab experience. I absolutely love the tabless extension. It replaces the boring default new tab with a clean, minimal and beautiful dashboard. You can add widgets, clock and date, background images, daily masses, frequently used shortcuts and much more. It makes opening a new tab refreshing instead of boring. We have an entire video on tablet extension right here on its first YouTube channel. Do watch it. This is one of my favorite Firefox features, the multi-account containers extension. It allows you to separate your browsing activity into different containers. For example, I have a dedicated container just for Google. So Gmail, YouTube, Google Docs, Basically, everything Google stays inside that one container. The result? Well, your cookies are separate. Your browsing sessions are separate. Your tracking data is separated. This means Google won't track what you do on other websites and other websites won't see your Google activity. There are pre-existing containers like work, shopping, banking, social media, etc. How you use it? Well, when you open a website and move it into a specific container, well, the next time you visit that site, the extension asks whether you want to always open it there. If you choose yes, then from that moment onward, that site and all its subdomain will automatically open inside that container. No extra effort required. Let's be honest, too many tabs is not unusual anymore. It's a common lifestyle now. Thankfully, Firefox has a built-in AI-based tab grouping feature. Instead of you manually sorting tabs, Firefox analyzes your open tabs and suggests logical groupings. You can review the suggestions, check or uncheck any websites, and then confirm the group. It's fast, it's smart, and it saves a lot of time. You can also use the tab's detail view from the toolbar to intelligently browse through all your open tabs. From there, you can search among open tabs, pin important websites to the sidebar, Unpin them when you don't need them anymore. So instead of chaos, 
your tabs become organized workspaces. And that's how I customize and use Firefox. Yes, I still use Firefox and I'm pretty happy with it. See, I don't want to give Google another monopoly when almost every other major browser out there is built on Google's Chromium project. If you want another powerful Firefox based browser, check out Gen Browser. I'll cover that in a future video. Till then, enjoy Firefox and enjoy its force, and I'll see you in another video.